standing on some bricks in Venice, I remember having a very bricky time with an engineer in Venice, imagining the whole concept of a city that's made of masonry, that not only sits on timber piles, but which is soaking in water, so that all of what we're taught and all of what we imagine about brickwork is the drama of rising damp. But apparently, because all of the brickwork has sat in the water for centuries, that the bricks and the water have come to an arrangement because things are stable about just how far the water is going to go. The whole thing with Venice is that it sits here soaking without a damp proof course. Australia is a very young country learning from Italy and will gradually build a city for the future. And much of it will be depend on something that will last, something that will be durable. There's a Venice thing about how you can tell when they're serious because there's all sorts of uh, domes and colonnades and buildings that are busy being magnificent to behold and then there's a lot of reaches by spires into the skyline and then you start to realise that each of these moves, each steeple has got a characteristic and that characteristic is absolute in the super tower that's right in St. Mark's Square, and that is that they're brick. It has to be preserved, it has to last, and it will last. It'll last because it's built from a, uh, a fantastic material, it's built from a fantastic resource. Because everything must arrive by water, all of your senses and all of your awareness starts to tune up about how things got there. But what happens in Venice is when you see the garbage going out by barge and you see every little hired glass that's ready for a cocktail coming in by barge, is that the entire city that's made out of bricks got brought in here barge by barge, brick by brick, and would have actually got passed by a human being across a piece of plank and became a building. So that the number of trips that you can imagine actually underneath each facade, it just gives an extra dimension. One of the wonderful things that Austral's done is to put some money on the table and said, this is a thing that's worthwhile supporting. I don't think it directly benefits, in fact I think it's one of those things where it's the peripheral connections, the connection that being in the brick city of Venice, it's an appropriate place for Austral to be, it's an appropriate place for them to be promoting it. And you meet, and you meet here and you see an enormous amount of activity and it wouldn't happen without Austral, so all the more power to them. Thanks to Austral, it's a brilliant idea.